This question. Write the contribution of Heimendorf to tribal anthropology in India. Hmm. Okay. Contribution of Heimendorf. Tell me, what is your answer? Hmm. Who will answer? Gayatri want to answer? In all the tribes he studied. Okay, you tell me first. What would be your main point? I I did not like him, him, him not giving judgment about violence over Nagas. You didn't like his neutrality. I did not like his neutrality. You didn't like the way he covered. Why? Why? How do you think he should oh, that aspect, sir? He neutrality is okay in in cases of my uh, customs and uh, clothing oh. and all practices, but not in in instances of violence. That's true. But what makes you think that he was actually neutral uh, value wise? He just plain recorded without giving his judgment. Mm, but uh, what is it that he should have said then? Should have evaluated from this human rights point of view and said that it is wrong. That is true, but then next time will the British government allow <laughs> allow him to record? Yes, sir. Trade offs are there, but we have to choose. We have to make. Why? Why does he have to? Sir, now I I feel, sir, but I don't know what are those circumstances. No, no, no. Please, this is important. These are the dilemmas we face in life. somebody is giving access to study somebody is telling us and then um, and that is not going to be the last time <laughs> so how will you uh, learn to, how will you continue to study isn't it exactly then he did what he could do exactly Maybe. that is why it is always important to understand what is one's role he is not causing it in fact just by saying what how it happened he said what all he had to say <laughs> isn't it so that is how one should be sometimes we are activists sometimes we are reporters that's all that's how life is for example as secretary they say as secretary an officer gets to know so much but does he mean he has to report to the newspapers no he is there to do his work but when there is a some other when there is a huge dilemma and when he can do something better otherwise then that would be a different choice it is not like speaking out what all you don't like it it is never the case in fact you don't speak out what all you don't like in your own friend nobody will remain as a friend if you say what all you don't like in him sir but again uh, the ro- maybe i i am evaluating him from my present level of understanding what he did was right then. exactly and even now we face similar dilemmas okay the world doesn't run according to our wish and when it doesn't run it doesn't call us uh, for us to fight <laughs> what is expected of us is extremely little very 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 little we should do just that little 
properly. I mean, that is my understanding. So understanding is not the same thing as action. Our ability to act is extremely limited. But then I said that when he he was in a position to help, he helped. Yes. Okay. Because you know, I went by one EPW article and one Hindu report in one meeting uh, covered by Hindu. One person said Hemendarf was a colonial ethnographer. He, he was not sympathetic. Otherwise, how will he work under British government? That is not the way to talk. And another article in EPW, it was critical of uh, Hemendarf's approach. But he only gave the point about what he wrote to Bhutan King. So that is why I said uh, to him, justice could wait. And let the truth, be, let truth be recorded first. <laughs> Maybe, sir, I interpreted only that phrase, uh, like let truth be recorded. Record. Plain reporting of facts. Exactly. I, I just. Mm, that's true. I mean, and judgments I can it, be made later. Ah, exactly. Yeah. He is in that peculiar and unique position. He should not do that would uh, harm his own position. So he could cover so many tribes. It was simply because the authorities felt safe. Isn't it? Okay. But then finally he gave history to them. Isn't it? He made people think of uh, themselves in a particular way. When I write. Ah, that was his contribution. What more do we want? <laughs> if you choose, if, what all maxim he can make a comment and create controversy. Next time he will not be allowed. What is the point? <laughs> now, this is very important. For example, Dalai Lama also, he doesn't make all kinds of comments. But doesn't he know what is going on in Kashmir? Doesn't he know so many violations going on? But why doesn't he comment? Because he knows. That's not proper. He's a guest here. So we will always be in a position like this. Do you know, this is a position, even if you are the most powerful person, will Prime Minister Narendra Modi say what all he feels like? No. He may be more powerful than others, but uh, still uh, he can't say what all he feels like. Nobody has that power. But all these quotes uh, that um, they say uh, uh, silence of an uh, intellectual is dangerous, kind of. That is true, but only sometimes. But he's doing his work. But why should one regard, I mean, that is his kind of intellectual work. That's why we reject the idea that every citizen is a policeman. No, policeman is a policeman. <laughs> citizen has so many other things to do. Okay. My friend I talked about in that article, now he's working under prime minister. He tells me closely about uh, the way he interacts and he knows many things about uh, all the things. For example, he said on my book on Kashmir, he said you are a direct invitation to public safety act because there is, it, you can be arrested very easily and this is enough, both the publisher and the other. And he knows he on many things he shares, but uh, does he say anything openly? No. That's how life is. He, is, he was heading a disastrous disaster commission and he was just, he felt that he had something good things to do and he was doing it. That should be the attitude to life. That's why we discussed what is your role in ethics classes. What is your role? Never forget that. What is yes, your... so we know uh, what we. Uh, I think that I've thought that it is settled then ah, and there, but your... again I fall back into patterns no, 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 no. and. That is wrong. That is wrong. I made it very very clear at that time, because you know when you think you are have to do so many things and not doing, you develop guilt and all kinds of things, and then anyway we are resigned. It's not like that. 
we we have to do only extremely little very very small but because we can do only little do that well <laughs> that is the significance <laughs> so hemanda definitely knows very clearly he has probably he didn't like that expedition and he didn't like what indian army did maybe he didn't like no nagas methods but what is the point okay but some politicians keep on talking on all kinds of issues and create controversy that is not true same thing about administrator also so successful administrators or politicians don't actually reveal what they think they give us some idea some people are free when they, particularly when their profession is expression okay so how do you evaluate the contribution what will be the first thing you will mention what will be the most important contribution he made give nagas the history nagas focus on nagas identity culture record it film and then after the nagas the chinsu the gonds uh, arunachal pradesh tribes okay and then he wrote about tribal problems and uh, his mission to arunachal pradesh so essentially he covered many tribes in a detailed way recorded okay and quite a professional person highly qualified and could come and then help these people that's all we don't know much about the theory because i read it from one epw article all other uh, things i i did from uh, this book this this is the book that helped me a lot anthropology in east so when i am taking from this book i could get detailed uh, coverage of the method and things but, but this i took from epw article and it didn't say much it focused on this particular dimension only okay so that's what him and ours contribution is okay sweta you have something to say okay <coughs> now take next question hmm. contribution of sc dubey towards the understanding of indian village it says Okay. Uh, Swetha, can you answer this? Did you no. read the? No, sir. Did I didn't read the material. Okay. Sunil, can you answer this contribution of S. C. Dubey? Sir, he uh, studied the village Shamir Pet. Exactly, village Shamir Pet. Okay. Really, and uh, then okay. uh, his work got highly uh, renowned. That, that is true. but uh, what is his contribution how do you rate how do you say about the contribution what is the importance of the study it's kind of field work he was he did field work also kind of that's true he did field work he did field work in people do field work in other areas also but what is his contribution then earlier anthropology was about tribes right right and tribe meant an isolated group first time village study that is one first time part of village study also meant part of mainstream society not an isolated one so mainstream not isolated not tribe and first time village and that included 
caste, social change, interaction across sectors. Okay, we know that entire which university was involved in the study? You describe the method. Which university was involved? Which university accompanied him? Usman. Usman University. Usman University. Experts from Usman University from five departments. They stayed there for twenty weeks. I mean, occasionally they were going, and anthropology people stayed for a one year. And then they finally they got three thousand pages report, veterinary data, crop data, settlements, life histories, very exhaustive study. And then how to make sense of it? So Dubé created a, I mean, uh, provided a portrait, vivid portrait of the village in one small book. Even now that book is being read. Indian village. Okay, his contribution was that there was no format before. There was format for a tribe, for example, notes and queries from Royal Anthropological Institute. So it was providing some kind, and then people were able to do it. But there was no format, no method, huge data gathered first time. So he thought of a method of arranging caste. Change various aspects, and finally brought out one small monograph, and that was a pioneering contribution. After that, so many village studies were conducted. So village studies became part of uh, study of Indian society, and now we know what is the significance of village study. Village studies are significant because they they. Take how indian society is working be it caste jajmani system interrelationship economy and also how it is changing okay we discussed uh, dipankar gupta and then andrew petley they studied how the, this is the nature of the village and how the village is changing so in it's a microcosm of indian society indian society is changing village also is changing so he he gave a different dimension to the study of indian society he was a pioneer in 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 doing that okay moving from tribe to caste moving to uh, indian society and uh, providing a framework which inspired many others to contribute to a uh, study of indian society okay that's what sc dubey's work is so mostly it is about uh, village study his approach also like hmm? trust giving thing how he won the trust of uh, for example yes uh, can you tell me where you can use that incident uh, methods exactly please pay attention to field work methods Hemant Dar's attitude in the field work, neutrality, and S. C. Dubey when he faced the problem, how he overcome them. He is similar to Elvin in this. Ah, of um, course. But Elvin is 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 supreme. Part of them is part of them. This man is distant. This man is distant. Elvin is part. Elvin is a unique person. Nobody comes anywhere near Elvin. Elvin is a hero. <laughs> These are all the people who spent some time, somehow survived and went back. Elvin did not go back. <laughs> okay. Uh, he was there with the tribes, but as an outsider, as a child, he was like an official child, official son. So always like an outsider, he was not part and parcel of them. So Elvin came from a completely different country, civilization, culture, and became one among them. Hemondorf, what did Hemondorf do? He was always connected to administration, and then he could spend some time. He spent time uh, with Gonds in Adilabad, in Adilabad district. 
you are you treated affectionately even now okay uh, but then spending some time is different from uh, staying forever so staying forever is a is a different uh, alternate world okay so you pay attention to the theory and the field work method and if they face a particular problem how they overcome that particular problem okay sir uh, in, the, in the question section you have got put this question that how do you think sc dubey has achieved so much success in uh, in uh, because i would say well connected um as a child he was watching and then he took them only for a study purpose he was an officer child he could get contacts and then uh, elvin help him and our so well connected and intelligent but i don't think there is anything more uh, to him so he produced something indian village and after that fell flat <laughs> so i included uh, andrew betley's remark also it is because you know some people are like that they they work they work and burn because the uh, uh, professional excellence and calls for a, a different kind of orientation so this man was busy with all kinds of power power administration contacts conferences meetings so you get right you know, things uh, happening to him uh, things like happening uh, now okay so i wanted to include that dimension because how can one achieve uh, so much uh, before 35 early burnout and some people uh, some people who are maybe destined for something more they they continue their best comes out in the end because there is something more to give from them something more but sadly the stories who of who got early success only are celebrated that is true early success are celebrated but uh, um, people who who succeed in the end uh, are stayed um, for more years by succeeding generations okay for example by that time uh, people have discovered what kant wrote and wanted to punish him he was already very very old and people thought rulers thought there was no point in punishing that man <laughs> same thing about kepler also kepler galileo they were so old there was no point in doing anything to them they thought particularly kant kant led, led a very very uh, looking very ordinary life no one knew that so <laughs> he was an explosion okay basically some people have little thing and they want to sell as much as possible that's how they burn out early and after that there is nothing much to say but uh, take for example chetan bagas novels now what he really doesn't have anything to say <laughs> so he had something to write okay he impressed some people maybe of the first two novels and after that they don't learn they don't learn and there is nothing much inside it is like that so this uh, takes me to what you you told once we have wrong attitude towards suffering ah. suffering produces a different kind of mm. that's like i don't i'm, I'm not able to say but something mm. coming no you mean uh, some people suffer and at the end they come out something else mm, yes sir that's more sensitive and reasonable work then that's true no social science work calls for maturity i can't say about science because science calls for uh, creativity in science comes at an early age but creativity in social science i think comes at a late age unless one is say, accidentally enlightened or something like that so <laughs> usually it comes late because it calls for so much of maturity it is not smartness social science is not a matter of smartness it calls for uh, human understanding 
okay that smartness declines over a period of time maturity increases so creativity in science comes at an early age but creativity in social sciences doesn't come in early age it, because it takes lot of human experience it's a matter of judgment but judgment doesn't come easily judgment is not easy and that uh, and for somebody to live in that uh, mode of investigation uh, he has to have a different orientation to life he should not be tempted tempted by power money influence so people are usually tempted they just they do know something and then after that they chase so there is a problem i am sure sadguru also is much more capable capable person but uh, i mean what he is doing may be good but uh, spending so much time in publicity all kinds of comments all, so much in noise creation <laughs> so it calls for attitude freedom from temptations and going deep in oneself sir i remember him saying that i have dirty work to do so i am engaging all this in all this sadguru uh, he told uh, this i have work to do so i am engaging in this all uh, influence I, i fully agree no i do agree i mean but there is some quality work also maybe he is capable and not capable but i appreciate his dirty work so called dirty work because somebody needs to give some push um he is doing it i i have very very high regard for him very very high regard okay uh because he needs to give jerk okay especially when he thinks there is something nothing more nothing much beyond <laughs> so that is about do mm, now i covered one more uh, tell me that is about impact of islam on indian tribes go through religion hinduism christianity okay impact of islam on scheduled tribes take that question honesties Hmm. So Neil, can you answer this? I mean, will you use this material to answer that? I can. I can't say more. Yes, sir. Definitely. Like, for example, how? Sir, these tribes, Lakshadweep. Lakshadweep tribes. Okay. The uh... tribes are influenced by Islam. Okay. so how do you go about it it basically arranging the material to the requirements of the question they are not likely to ask matrilineal among lakshadweep muslims i mean they can ask but if they ask that would be considered a very difficult or odd question okay so impact of islam on tribes so can you tell me what are the and uh, I, i think you can use that study at variety of places a culture matrilineal among huh? muslims matrilineal among muslims question sir there is matrilineal among muslims question yes sir where in religion section religion chapter 3 okay religion chapter there is matrilineal among muslims as a question 
Yes. Mm, okay, then we can do that. Question number. Twenty. Hmm? Twenty. Wow, Islam and Madeline. Yes, direct question. Islam and Madeline. Okay, you can take that. Islam and Madeline. But did you notice who is this Leela Dubey? Yes, sir. His wife. Yes, it is wife only. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so matrilineal and Islam. Okay, Sunil, tell me, how are matrilineal? Okay, mm. among Lakshadweep Muslims, what changed and what did not change? Can you summarize? Matrilineal remained. Matrilineal remained. Yes. Similar to Nayak form. Okay, and what changed? Some of the norms that like, I like, mean, can you be more specific. Like father, father's own earning could be transferred. No, before that, before that, can you tell me the one major institution that changed? You can say visiting husbands. Hmm. Visiting husbands gone. So that strange kind of marriage or absence of marriage is gone, which means matrilineal plus weak marriage. You can say matrilineal plus weak marriage or matrilineal plus proper marriage or proper marriage. What is meant by weak marriage? Husband and wife are not staying together. And what is that residence called? That is a completely strange kind of residence, duo local residence. And then divorce rates are high. So husband and wife not staying together, duo local residence. And if they are staying, then it is like matrilineal. So matrilineal household arrangement is there, but visiting husband's gone, only one husband, that husband not staying with her, or if she, or he is staying in a matrilocal uh, household. Okay, then major change to the property distribution. So what are those concepts involved, Suni? What are those two types of property? Monday property and Friday property. Friday property. Okay. Which property uh, can be given to one's own sons? Monday property. Monday property. Okay. I wanted to say it should have been Friday property because Friday was auspicious for Muslims. But it, Sir, I was trying to remember and I saw uh, this. Exactly. I thought it should be Friday property, but it was not called Friday property. It was called Monday property only. <laughs> because Friday was auspicious to Muslims. So, I thought they might have called that Friday property. They didn't. So <laughs> Monday property is Islamic, not Friday property. So Monday property can be given to uh, others, to one's own children, one's own sons. What is the advantage in giving to one's own daughters as opposed to one's own sons? This one gets split. Daughters are staying at one place, whereas the sons go to different places, just the opposite of Hindu joint family. In Hindu joint family, sons stay at one place, daughters, so property divided if given to daughters. Actually, there's one more reason you can see why sons are become important. Patri locality is the main reason. Sons are staying together. So sons staying together is a kind of Assurance to the parents. But daughters are not staying together somewhere. So not only that they are going out, but that they are not staying together. These are the ways we can understand our own family. So daughters are not staying together. So property divided in Hindus. But their sons are not staying together. Daughters are staying together. And daughters hold the property. So preferably give to daughters. But when one is giving to daughters, remember it is not one's own Taravad, it is others. So if you give, if you don't give at all, you are with your sisters. That is one. 
if you give it goes to the daughters if you are giving to daughters if you give to sons spread so there are three possibilities so keeping everything as uh friday property or uh, giving it as monday prop making it as monday property and monday property to daughters monday property to sons all these variations are there okay so visiting husbands gone property sharing innovation and then things changed so uh, and you can I, i think you can use this at variety of places how partially things can change partially don't change we'll see where we can but this is one interesting case where all we can use uh, we can see but interesting and strange okay and how things can change dual local residents uh, it's a, it's an extremely rare that uh, we think that it can be matri patri avank local but we are, it is assumed that husband and stay together but in this kind of residence rule there is no togetherness okay so it shows how islam how a religion can change but change the society but doesn't change it completely continuity factors there is a continuity factor yes continuity and change maybe you can write under continuity and change okay. so tell me what are all the things remaining see we have been trying to do this tribal development demography and indian anthropology 